This short overview is designed to help familiarize students with UNC's Sakai Learning Management System. To access Sakai, go to sakai.unc.edu and log in with your onion and password. After logging in, you're taken to the My Workspace area, where recent communications from all of your courses on Sakai are collected in one place, along with announcements from UNC Sakai support. Notice the tabs near the top of the screen. Here you can access individual Sakai course sites. If you don't see a site that you think you should, first check the Site drop-down list. If you've recently added a course, it may take up to 24 hours before you have access to the course's site. Let's visit a course site. The links that appear on the navigation menu to the left will be a little different for each site. Your instructors may opt to use some tools and not others. We'll take a quick look at three frequently used tools, Syllabus, Resources, and Messages. When you view your course's syllabus, it will likely be a PDF or Word file that you can open or save. It might also be a web page. Other information will be stored in Resources. The Resources area serves as a central repository for links, documents, and other types of files added to a Sakai site. Resources can be organized into folders, much in the same way that files are on a computer. If you're having trouble locating a particular file or piece of information, you can search within a single site or across all of your Sakai sites. I've switched to a different course site to look at one of the most frequently used communication tools in Sakai, Messages. You can use Messages to send an email message to your instructor, or other members of the course, including any groups that your instructor has assigned. Copies of messages sent and received are also saved on Sakai. For some courses, you may be required to submit your assignments on Sakai. Here's an example of a Sakai assignment. In most cases, you will be asked to upload files although you may be asked to paste information in the rich text editor. Uploading a file is as simple as adding an attachment to an email message. One quick tip, if you happen to be pasting from a Word document into the text editor, we recommend that you use the Paste from Word option on the editor toolbar. That's the clipboard with the blue W. In addition to using the Assignments tool, in other courses you may need to take a quiz, keep a blog, or post to a discussion forum, and all of those tools may use the Rich Text Editor as well. Thanks for watching this short overview to sakai.unc.edu, and have a great semester.